going to Denver right now and I'll see you guys in Denver. Welcome to jobskillshare.org vlog. This is Danish and I am in Colorado, Denver, which is pretty cool. You know, I came here in the morning. I mean, I'm going to show you guys something, um, how it looks at the night. One thing I noticed in here, this place is so clean. Oh my God, really clean. I mean, I am. Uh, it's like a DC kind of look. The downtown is like DC, but it's way more cleaner than DC. No, of, uh, not offend, offending DC people in there, but it's just clean, you know. Uh, other thing is that this video is, you know, not to show um, traveling Denver, uh, but I mean, it's just that I'm recording this video, so I might not do any justice to Denver by telling people this is Denver, so don't kill me because I'm actually making this video for another reason. So I'm just here and kind of show to my learners that how it looks. So this is basically the hotel room that I'm in. And you guys can see it's pretty nice. Man, this is how it looks at night. So you guys can see it's pretty much Washington DC kind of look. Just like any other downtown in US. Um, yeah, so in the morning I am going to show you guys a little bit more on how this place looks like kind of, uh, you know, just food stuff so but right now I'm in here um, kind of nice to just lay down chill and then tomorrow start working um, reality is just that you know you take flight you just come here you make sure you have everything um, working like your cell phone your tablets and things like that uh, and make sure you drink a lot of water banana it helps so uh, I'm already having a headache right now, but let's see tomorrow. This is Danish, and I'm actually recording from Colorado right now. This is a nighttime night view of Colorado back. You guys can see the TV, which is right here. That's not from outside. It looks like you're like it's a projection from outside pretty cool uh so far i'm liking this place man this is so clean one of the things that i noticed in colorado denver is extremely clean so which is awesome so this is denver the convention center and look how clean this place is nice sunny area getting in right now everything getting built from scratch hello everyone this is Donish I am right in front of the convention center Colorado this is the big bear if you ever get lost in Denver convention center just know where the bear is and you should be okay this is a beautiful city it's pretty clean um, as you guys can see, some nice uh, hotels around us. So what I'm going to do is basically, I'm going to go in and uh, show you guys exactly what to do. Things about these buildings are they are huge. Like I said, you have to communicate with other companies. You know, they have to like you know run wires uh, everywhere, and then you know it depends on your setup. So if you let's say. You know, you need computers right here, then they need to drop, you know, the lines and things like that. So, things about that, and this is why I kind of focused on communication with other uh, teams and stuff like that. So, what I'm going to show you guys right now is basically, you know, in, in this trip, we manage computers and things like that. There's going to be like 10 to 11,000 people, and then they do their own stuff on the computers. So, that's what we're going to do in this uh, video. I'm going to show you guys how everything is nothing before people come in and then when once everything is done you have all the technologies and people are running around so just like last year you know there's nothing in there right now as you guys can see there will be someone you know bringing all those lines and 
Let me show you in the back right there. And this is just one station, so I'm giving you examples. So the lines are going to come down all the way down here, and then there will be computers, printers set up. And your job might be, you know, to set up the computer for your users, uh, you know, make sure the printers are working, they're printing, and then, you know, uh, make sure the papers are available, things like that, you know, this is basic stuff. But trust me, when there's a lot of people, this can become a little hectic job. But again, this is fun, you know, if you're working in IT, this should be easy stuff for you. And not every IT person do this, it depends on a company, they will... Most of the companies do conventions, so you might be able to um, have, you know, come come across this type of experience. So the next video that I'm going to make, I'm going to show you guys. There's going to be computers all around and some basic setup, but um, you know, depending on your company, it might not be the same setup. But this is just the basic basic stuff that I wanted to share. How realistic this job is. I mean, I'm here today. I'm working. So yeah. So guys, here is the real world scenario that's going on over here. So basically what's going on, we're not getting a connection and this IP address, if you get by IP config and you get this IP address, it tells you that there's basically no connection. And also you can see there's a yellow um, um, mark in there that's basically also telling you that things are not right. Now you could do certain things, you can basically go to other computer uh, and see if you're getting the same thing. If other computers were working then the issue is only with this computer and then you would check wires is plugged in, plugged in the back of the switch. Now the problem with this scenario is that none of these computers are working and that kind of tells you that there's something even bigger than this and so you really can um, spend that time on this specific machine you probably would need to check the switch so if there's a switch somewhere over here you need to make sure that it's connected the main line that is getting to that switch you can just unplug that plug it into this uh, laptop and see if that main line is getting you an IP address and then you know that you're getting the main line you're getting the connection but the problem could be in the switch so um, let's say, for example, that's also not working. You plug in that main line to this laptop and it's not working. Then that's it. I mean, since you're in the convention, you're outside, and remember that communication with other companies, they're providing you the network, then you just need to call them, and that will be the fix. They will fix it, and I'll say, hey, you know what, why don't you just check it again, and then once you get the IP address, then you can start working. So this is a real scenario that's happening right now. So I just wanted to share with you guys. Thank you for watching. It's fixed basically. I didn't do anything. I just waited for the company and they went in and uh, they looked at their connections and bam, they told me to go ahead and restart the machine again uh, and check it. So there you go. We got the connection on this machine. So I checked the other ones over there too. They have the, they have the connection. So we're good to go. So basically whatever your normal process would be, you will start that. So this issue is resolved. We're moving on to the next one. This is Danish again. Hopefully you guys are enjoying my vlogs. In these vlogs, I just showed you guys, you know, like, you know, new state, some basic setup and things like that. So in the different vlogs, we'll set up everything else. So as you guys see, there's nothing right now. Uh, in the next session, we'll have more uh, technical stuff available so that we can show you all that stuff. Probably just like, you know, configuring IP addresses and things like that. So see you guys in different vlogs. Thank you.